Um, I am going to call this meeting to order. Uh, the trustees and the employees of the township, we've all gotten both of our shots were fully uh, basted and cooked in. <laughs> so we're going to do this one without uh, masks tonight. Um, so at this time, I'd like to uh, ask everybody to stand and join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I, I pledge, pledge allegiance, allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Um, oh, okay. Uh, we have a, we have a uh, deputy clerk uh, keeping uh, the minutes and taking the roll call votes tonight. <laughs> So I will ask uh, Deputy Clerk Mistretta to call the roll to establish the quorum. Okay, Trustee Downer? Present. Trustee Kelly? Present. Trustee Ferguson? Present. Trustee Vanderlaan? Present. And Supervisor Tillman? Present. We do have a quorum. At this time, we'll make a motion to conduct the April Board of Trustees meeting electronically. Can I have a second, please? Second. Can I have a roll call vote, please? Trustee Downer? Yes. Trustee Kelly? Yes. Trustee Ferguson? Yes. Trustee Vanderlaan? Aye. Trust the Supervisor Tillman? Aye. Motion carries 5-0. That makes us legitimate with the state. At this point, we have reached public comment, and I am going to start on the top left-hand side with Dave. <laughs> Dave just left. Uh, we'll, we'll try to circle back to him, but I'll ask each of you if you have a public comment. If you don't, you don't have to make a public comment, but I, it's important that we give everybody the opportunity. So I'm going to start with Barry Wayman Dodd. Do you have any public comment this evening? Bonnie. 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 I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, it was Bonnie and uh, not just yet. Okay. So come back around. <laughs> you guys are making this hard on me. Uh, Aaron, do you have any public comment this evening? Uh, I'm just casually observing tonight. Thank you. Okay. Al? I may later, but... Well, this is the only opportunity to make public comments. Um, I, I can put you on the list to circle back around if you want. Okay. No worries. Um, Carol, do you have a public comment this evening? I do. Speak, uh, speak up and speak clearly and loudly, please. Close to my computer because it's always hard to hear me. Can you hear me okay? I can hear you a little bit better now, yes. Thank you. Tuesday night was an appalling display of disrespect for the voters of Downers Grove Township. Residents have taken time from their busy lives to attend a once a year meeting of the township, a meeting which did not occur a year ago due to COVID. All of to be rushed out of the room without attending the business. What happened to the transparency that was promised? Or maybe it was transparently. Transparency. Certain of the elected officials apparently either didn't accomplish enough in two years to wish to share it with their constituents, or were too lazy to prepare any remarks. How disappointing. Uh, thank you for your comment. I, I'll just inject that uh, when it came time to waive uh, the reading of the reports, uh, all five trustees, the four trustees and myself, all stood in opposition to waiving that. Um, we I felt agree. that you did, and I'm, I'm very happy that you did have an opportunity in public comment to make your remarks because I thought you added a lot of useful information about what the township has done in the last two years, four years. Well, so much I as I hate to cut off comments like that, we'll have to move on. Uh, <laughs> Uh, Ms. Lomansky, do you have any comments tonight? Um, yes. Um, she froze. Uh-oh, she froze. Um, at the annual town meeting, other groups? Hello? Yeah, I, we can hear you, but your picture is frozen. Can you hear me now? Yes. Oh. At the annual town meeting, sorry. Um, at the annual town meeting the other day, um, I got up and stated that in 2018, then Governor Rauner signed an executive order eliminating nepotism in state government hiring, and I urged the township to follow the governor's good example. Uh, a woman spoke after me, and since she was looking right at me when she said it, I assumed she meant me in saying that 
opponents need to get their facts straight. And I wanted to point out right now that it is a fact that Governor Rauner signed that executive order in 2018. I'd be happy to provide the link in the chat to that. Um, the nice lady also got in my face after the town meeting and informed me that there is absolutely no nepotism in the township, which I personally think is most excellent. It means um, that the board will have no issue at all in considering creating right. You froze up again. Relation that eliminates nepotism. Okay. Um, you froze up again. Okay. <laughs> This is convenient. It means that the board will have no issue at all with considering creating regulation that eliminates nepotism in township hiring. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Uh, Ron Vining, do you have any public comments tonight? Not at this moment. Thank you. Uh, Janet Winningham, do you have a public comment this evening? I do. Uh, first, I want to thank you, um, Mr. Tallman, for your report uh, at the uh, annual town meeting. Uh, it, I agree with uh, Carol, it was most informative. And the, the narrative uh, report adds much to uh, flesh on the bones for the, um, for the different reports. Um, it was disappointing to me that the other elected officials declined to give reports. Uh, and that means there are only certain inferences that can be um, uh, concluded. Uh, one, as, as Carol mentioned, perhaps nothing noteworthy uh, happened uh, to report on over the last two years. I find that um, unlikely. Um, they were ill-prepared Ill or they're embarrassed by the lack of substance that they could produce. Um, every organization gives reports to its interested parties at an annual meeting. And um, perhaps if, if uh, written uh, summaries uh, had been submitted, uh, that would have taken the place of a narrative. But the taxpayers and the residents of uh, Downersburg Township are entitled to know what management is doing with taxpayer money and, and not just approval of bills and, and tallying invoices. That doesn't give the whole story. The narrative explanation can provide information about what's being accomplished, what challenges have happened over the last two years, how the, the uh, current, uh, what's the current status of an, an experience, and how does that compare with previous years? All sorts of information that would be of interest to the taxpayers, and it is uh, most disappointing, as I said, that that, that didn't happen at the at the town meeting. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Marianne Vasquez. Do you have a public comment tonight? Thank you, Mark. You know, I was unable to attend the uh, town meeting, so I cannot speak to it the way some others can. But I just want to thank you for your service. I believe this is your final meeting. I, and you know what? I think you did a bang up job with all you did with the senior center. And I may have some uh, differences of opinion in some areas, but on this, I totally respect what you did, and you did so much for the township, and I hope everyone will be grateful for that for many years to come. Thank you. <laughs> All right, no applause. No applause, okay. <laughs> uh, oh gosh, who's at the phone number? I forgot. 130. 130? Do you have a public comment tonight? He's on mute. He has to unmute. Can you unmute? Do you have a public comment tonight? I no, no comment at this time. Who is it? Who is it? Who are wait? Who are you? This is this is Mary Stoll calling in. Mary Stoll, S T O L L. Okay, thank you. Thank uh, you, Jerry. Do you have any public comment tonight? Asking to unmute. Jerry, can you unmute? What's your last name again? And do you have any public comment tonight? 
the building. It's probably off talking with Dave Rico <laughs> <laughs> um, I'll, I'll circle back around to uh, Bonnie Wayman Dodd. Do you have a public comment this evening? You have to unmute. There you go. Yeah, I'll, I'll, there I am. Um, well, I missed both the, the Tuesday meeting, and I also missed your ceremony for the new building. Um, I really enjoyed the new building, and um, and looking forward to seeing what the what the township is going to do to utilize it very well, and how they're going to reach out to the public to get more assistance with fish or Meals on Wheels or any other services that are going to come from that building. Thank you. So thank you for what you have done, and I am excited to see what people will do with it now. So am I. Um, <laughs> just for everyone's um, information, uh, the, the video from the dedication is online. Um, the video from Tuesday night is also online. And as I did with the, the 2019 report that I had, it's not as fancy as it was then. I had a PowerPoint presentation and slides, the whole nine yards, but uh, my report from Tuesday night is also up online. That's all on our transparency page. So it's all there. Uh, you guys can see it, review it, and read it, um, even if you weren't there. So uh, I don't see Dave coming back, so you're out of luck, Dave. I did get one email. Uh, as a public comment from Frank White, and he said, thank you for delivering your report at the annual meeting. I am a relatively new resident to the township. When I ask my neighbors about happenings in the township, I get many different answers, so I decided I should attend meetings to gain first-hand information. I was very disappointed that many of the items on the agenda were not presented. I have had no complaints with the township, but now I have one. I feel strongly that all the reports should have been delivered, and I appreciate that you found a way to deliver yours. And that comment was sent in uh, this morning at about 8.05. Um, any public comments? Can I make a comment? Sure, yeah. Where do I stand so like Abby and people in there can hear me? Uh, like to, be, to be heard, stand over by the camera. Okay, is, a, is there a microphone if, over here? Somewhere? Yeah. If you want, if you want to be seen, you can come right up here. Oh, I don't care. Uh, it's whatever. I don't care if I need to be seen. Okay. So, I'm Michael Lokram. Um, so, I just wanted to say first thank you to everybody that voted in the past election. While we couldn't have the result we all wanted in every race, we all participated, and I appreciate that because it's a low turnout election, so that's great. Um, as a future trustee, I want to say. I'm looking forward to serving with everyone that's going to be staying around. Um, it's been just great. The transition has been nice. Um, to those of you that are leaving, that have served, thank you. It means a lot. It is uh, a tough job and uh, lots of slings and arrows. So to Trustee Donner, Trustee Kelly, uh, Trustee Vanderlaan, uh, to Supervisor Tolman, thank you for all the time and effort. Ferguson. Abby's sticking around, so thanks to Abby for coming back around for another another round. Uh, much appreciated. And then um, thanks everyone in the township office that has made everything such a smooth transition. This is really one of the things that makes America great, right? The smooth transition of power, and um, it's just been wonderful, and I'm really excited to have the two. So thank you, and thanks for letting me speak. I appreciate it. Thank you. All right, so public comment. Moves to item number six, motion to approve the minutes of the two public hearings from February 25th, 2021, as presented. Can I get a second, please? Second. Uh, open that for discussion uh, and start with Trustee Ferguson. Do you have any comments about the meetings for the two public hearings from February 25th? No, I just want to clarify, though, that these are not. These are the actual meeting minutes, not the ones that were edited by you? No, this represents uh, the changes. I believe I made changes to the general fund um, public hearing to reflect the video recording of the meeting. Is there, no, there no were... I, I do not, I do not um, believe that is the uh, acceptable way for these minutes to be um, in the record. Um, meeting minutes are to represent what was actually discussed in the meeting. And so 
I do not understand why you would change the meeting minutes uh, um, okay. to leave that information out. No, I didn't leave any information out. I replaced incorrect information with correct information. Uh, the best example is at one time, uh, the minutes I believe that, the meeting minutes should read exactly the way that the video, um, that they are in the video. <laughs> as far as word for word, the changes that I made to my comments were that so they did match the video word for word. That's why the clerk accepted them. Okay. Um, barring any further back and forth on that, Dave, do you have any uh, comments on um, the two public hearings? Okay. Either you guys? Nope. No. Uh, Sue, can I get a roll call on the motion to approve the minutes of the board of, of the two public hearings from February 25th, 2021 as presented? Trustee Downer? Aye. Trustee Kelly? Aye. Trustee Ferguson? No. Trustee Vanderlaan? Aye. Supervisor Toman? Aye. The motion carries 4-1. Next, uh, a motion to approve the minutes of the board meeting from February 25th, 2021 as presented. Can I have a second, please? Second. And I'll open this item for discussion. And I will open the discussion and ties into uh, kind of what Abby was saying. Uh, I move to amend those minutes to strike all public comments from the February meeting. Uh, the clerk indicates that the public comments were lengthy and that they were contained in full on the video uh, and then proceeded to include uh, a very lengthy comment uh, from Assessor Bolts. And I would move to amend the minutes to, to just uh, delete all public comments, any any word-for-word -word public comments from that record because the clerk directs anyone who's interested in hearing it to the video, which is online. Can I get a second, please? Second. And I'll open the amended uh, motion for discussion. Uh, I'll start with uh, Trustee Ferguson. Do you have any comments on the yeah, they're, motion they're, to amend? They're the same comments as in the pre with them, uh, regarding the previous uh, notes. During, I, I believe that the video and the actual meeting minutes need to read the same. Thank you. Uh, Trustee Vanderlaan, do you have any comments about the motion to amend uh, the motion to approve the minutes? I generally disagree with the motion to amend. I, I understand that some of those comments are uh, sensitive in nature, uh, but I don't see any reason to take them out of the minutes uh, simply because we may not necessarily agree with the entirety of the content. Thank you. Uh, Trustee Donner, Trustee Kelly, any comments? Yeah, I do have a comment. Um, in the minutes from on, from March 18th. No, we're on February 25th. Okay, but I thought we had um, voted to amend. Yeah, a motion was made by Supervisor Thomas to approve the minutes of the board meeting from February 25th, 20th. And it was seconded by our, and then you made a motion to table that approval because we needed to reassess and look at what was written in those minutes. Correct. And that was voted on and everyone voted as I. Correct. So everyone was open to having these minutes amended. That's just the note I want to make. Okay. Anything? Um, Deputy Clerk, um, Ms. Stretta, can you call the roll on the motion to amend the, the amended minutes? Motion to the amended to amend the minutes. Trustee Donner? Aye. Trustee Kelly? Aye. Trustee Ferguson? No. Trustee Vanderlaan? Nay. Supervisor Tillman? Aye. The motion to amend carries 3-2, so now we're back to the motion to approve the minutes of the board meeting from February 25th, 2021, as amended. Can I have a, a let's see, we are, can I have a second? Uh, I'll second that. Okay. Is there any further discussion on this item, Trustee Ferguson? It's again disappointing. 
I, I, I mean, the, the, the bickering and the disagreements, uh, the, this shouldn't be, the minutes should be the minutes. I mean, there have been instances in the past where um, we refer to these meeting minutes to be factual and represent the actual content, and I don't understand why that information would be removed. That's my comment. Thank you. Trustee Vanderlaan, do you have uh, any discussion item? Our motion to amend having been passed, I believe that the amended minutes taking uh, all public comment out and referring people to the video record are strictly accurate and factual, uh, although less complete than they would be otherwise. And so uh, given, given the previous votes, I would be inclined to uh, to vote in favor of adopting these, uh, these amendments. Any further discussion? Uh, Deputy Clerk, can you call the roll, please? I have a motion to approve the <coughs> minutes of the board meeting from February 25th, 2021, as amended. Sorry. That's Trustee okay. Downer? Aye. Trustee Kelly? Aye. Trustee Ferguson? No. Trustee Vanderlaan? Aye. Mark, a Supervisor Tillman. Aye. Motion carries 4-1. Lose us to item number 8. Motion to approve the, I'll make a motion to approve the minutes of the board meeting from March 18, 2021 as presented. Can I have a second, please? Second. I'll open the item for discussion. Trustee Ferguson, do you have any discussion? Uh, no. Trustee Vanderlaan, do you have any discussion? No. Either of you, any discussion? Mm -hmm. None. Can None. you call the roll, please? Trustee Donner? Aye. Trustee Kelly? Aye. Trustee Ferguson? Aye. Trustee Vanderlaan? Aye. Supervisor Tolman? Aye. Motion carries 5-0. Thank you. Uh, next item, number nine, motion to approve the trustee audit and approval of bills and claims as presented. Uh, can I get a second, please? So moved. I'll open it for discussion with the comment that this is the first month we've gone to the new system. Uh, Hopefully it came through smoothly. Uh, two of our trustees are remotely reviewing the audit. Uh, if you have and wish to vote, please do. If you haven't had time to review them, um, you can uh, abstain uh, from voting at this time because there has been myself, Trustee Donner, and Trustee Kelly to physically do the audit, so we're in good shape there. Um, any further discussion from any of the trustees? No. Can you call the roll, please? Trustee Donner? Aye. Trustee Kelly? Aye. Trustee Ferguson? Aye. Trustee Vanderlaan? All the same. Supervisor Tillman? Aye. Motion carries 4 0 with one abstain. Thank you. Uh, that moves us to item number 10. I'll make a motion to approve an agreement with Friends for Downers Grove Township Seniors. Can I get a second, please? A second. I'll uh, open this for discussion. This is a very uh, informal uh, agreement with our foundation that uh, uh, financially and uh, uh, spiritually supports the human and senior service efforts of the township. Uh, it codifies that uh, we let them use our rooms for meetings and for events, which we're very pleased to do, uh, and extends, uh, um, if they have meetings at our facility, our, our insurance covers those events, so they're not required to go out and get a separate uh, certificate of insurance, which I've required from uh, the high school and, and the fish pantry and, and uh, DuPage Senior Citizens, because this is a, uh, they are our supporting foundation. It is a, it is a much more informal relation, relationship, but the document puts that down in writing and, and uh, raises the comfort level for the board. Any uh, further discussion from any trustees? Trustee Ferguson? Trustee Vanderlaan? I see you shaking your head no. Anyone here? No, I'm glad to see this because I had talked to uh, the chairperson for the DG Downs Grove um, Seniors, and there was a concern, so I had brought it up to your attention that we try to get something in place. So this is good. This makes them feel that they won't have any issues that might come up. So I think this is a good thing for them. And I appreciate and you us. moving it forward and, and keeping my attention on it, which has been kind of all over the place lately, but thank you. 
Uh, can we get a roll call vote on that this item? Trustee Donner? Aye. Trustee Kelly? Aye. Trustee Ferguson? Aye. Trustee Vanderlaan? Aye. Supervisor Thomas? Aye. Motion carries 5 0. Thank you. Uh, that brings us to the supervisor's report. I could go ahead and read the nine and a half minutes again, but I'll take a pass on that. I think uh, Tuesday night um, fairly well summarized the last two years. Uh, I would, it's uh, uh, nothing really I could think of adding to that. I'm sure there's something I'll think of tonight when I get home. Um, but uh, that's my supervisor's report. I appreciate everybody coming to the Zoom meetings, by the way. Usually after after an election, the, the interest just goes back to zero, and it's usually it's just Carol Soule coming to the meetings. So uh, <laughs> I appreciate the fact that there's uh, more people coming to the meetings. Well, that brings us to old business. Uh, I have no old business. Trustee Ferguson, do you have any old business? I don't really know if it's old business or new business. I, it's, uh, I just want to... Do you want me to tell new business? It's up to you. Uh, under new business, I'm going to ask trustees for any comments they might have as a, a final oh, a commentary. I can, I'll hold my breath until new business. Well, don't hold your breath. But <laughs> okay, that's that's fair enough. Do you think uh, the food uh, frozen meal package will go into old business that's going to be starting up this month? Do you want to bring that up in old business? Just yeah, I'll throw that in old business just to separate it. Uh, we're starting up the. Uh, senior 60 and older um, frozen meal pack pickups again Thursday April 29th is our first uh, pickup so uh, uh, Sue and Kathy will be uh, uh, getting registrations in-house and getting organized and we have agreed uh, with DuPage Senior Citizens Council to run the program once a month uh, through September again which we did last year so I'm very pleased about that so, and that brings us to item. One oh. more thing, old business. Yes. Uh, just, just for the public's knowledge, the uh, audit we were talking about, our outside audit, is going to be completed while we still are uh, empowered. That's our goal. Finish, finish that audit. I'm not guaranteeing yeah. it. That's we're our goal. We're not throwing the audit on the new administration. So, uh, anyway, that's one we're trying to complete. So, right. Uh, the people that they're auditing are, are the ones that are still here. Yeah, we started April 1st, and Whitley is a very... Uh, um, as, a, as an auditor, they're very familiar with township finances, um, and uh, I'm hoping we can get this wrapped up. Uh, we got a no major problems phone call, and they're moving forward, so that's good news. Very good. Uh, that brings us to new business, and I will start uh, new business uh, with uh, Trustee Ferguson again. Do you have any new business tonight? It's, it's hard to call it a new business, but um, no, I just wanted to say um, I, I thought your comments were um, your summary of the last two years on Tuesday night was very helpful, but I also want to remind people that there are many ways to find out what's going on with the township over time. It's not just one evening that they can get an update about what's going on. So um, I encourage everyone to reach out to trustees or um, office staff anytime to make sure they know what's going on at the township. They're, the website is always up to date. So I, I definitely welcomed your comments and, and think that, um, you know, I'm glad that you made them. I just there are ways to be informed about what's going on. Um, to that point, uh, I was asked to make comments on the senior uh, on seniors and youth services, and I just want to make clear that uh, you covered those topics um, and what's been happening um, with them. So I did not need to. I, I was going to yield my time back to you since you were already planning on covering them, but. Uh, I think it's important in this situation and, and many others in life, uh, in life to not make assumptions about why people aren't speaking or why they are, etc. And so <laughs> to clear the record on that point, uh, that is why I did not uh, feel a need to make additional comments on Tuesday night at the annual town meeting. Um, thanks, Mark, for everything that you did um, over the last four years, and especially with the Senior Center, um, I think great things will continue to, to happen. Um, 
going forward with that building and everything that comes with it. So those are my final comments. Thank you. Thank you. Trustee Vanderlaan, do you have any final comments? Uh, briefly, I just want to say thank you. Thank you to the people of Downers Grove Township. It has been uh, an honor and a pleasure to serve in, in this capacity. Uh, thank you to my fellow trustees and to Supervisor Tolman and to the, the other elected officials and the employees of, of Downers Grove Township. I've, I've really appreciated this opportunity to serve. And as I turn my focus uh, back to my uh, private sector work and the children who you may or may not be able to hear in the background, um, I am confident that, uh, that the new blood and the new perspectives that are coming into Downers Grove Township uh, will serve the citizens well. And I look forward to supporting you as, uh, as a private citizen. Thank you. Uh, Trustee uh, Donner. Uh, okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Mark. Uh, pretty much the same comments uh, uh, that everyone said. Thank you to the staff and to you, Mark. Uh, that for you know the the senior building is something that in, in the private enterprise you would see somebody get a large bonus from. But of course, we're government. You delivered that building. It was really your initiative to get that building done. Uh, there's no way to give you anything because your salary is fixed by statute. But uh, there is, you are the hero out there for the person that is, that is a senior that has fallen on uh, bad times. You're the hero of the person that's standing on the bus stop cold, trying to get some food and get on the bus to get home. So uh, if there's something there that's beyond money that you really have delivered and. Uh, I believe you will go to heaven for what you've done for that senior building. I think that it's very difficult given the pandemic and so forth that you push that through. I, I, I can't say enough how, how that would not have been that, that would not have been delivered if it wasn't for your hard work. Uh, you know, thanks to the staff again, uh, to Andy and to, to Greg for delivering services in, in a pandemic era. It's, you know, it was something incredible that we went through. And uh, those guys need to be commended also. Uh, as far as just going back to that meeting on Tuesday, you know, uh, my father uh, flew 26 missions over, over Nazi Germany. He fought for people to be free. He fought for people to say what they want. If you don't like what someone says, uh, that's okay. But the reason why this country was founded is because people have a right to say whatever they want. And, and for you to have those nine minutes to say what was going on, is, is a right that we have. Uh, I believe that uh, Mayor Grasso should be thanked for what he did, for, yeah. allowing, for, for allowing the nine minutes. I, I think it was overwhelming that the, you know, the people at the uh, board level, our, all of us trustees, were in shock when they weren't, you're not allowed to make a nine minute statement because you might infect the crowd. It smelled, I, it, had no, it, it had no basic in logic, so Thank you for at least giving the nine minutes, and thanks to Mayor Grasso for doing that. Um, as far as the new administration is concerned, you know, call out any time if you need any help on anything. Uh, you know, there's a fundamental problem here, and a lot of times the levy goes out before the budgets are done. So the problem with that is a lot of times you're over-assessing the individuals out there by not having a firm budget in place. So I would encourage you to do the budgets early so that we're, we're assessing the right amount of money to people that is really going to be delivered and not everyone rounding up so that I'll have enough in that line item. So I think that's a concern, it's a structural problem, I believe, that we have at the township level. So again, just alerting you to that so, so people aren't overcharged. Thank you very much, everyone, for being here. Trustee Kelly. Thank you. Good, good evening, everyone. Um, tonight's board meeting will be my last as trustee for the Downers Grove Township. And it has been an honor and privilege for the past four years to serve the residents of the township. In addition to my trustee responsibilities, I am especially proud to have been the liaison for the township to the two affiliated senior groups, one being Friends for Downers Grove Township Seniors and the Senior Advisory Council. Going forward, I plan to continue as a volunteer member to these groups after my term. Excellent. <laughs> to my fellow board members, 
It has been great working with you to make sure we did our best to make well-informed decisions in the foremost interest of our township residents. I would also like to thank the township staff for all of their help and assistance these past years. Whenever I asked a question or I needed help, they were there to give me the information I needed. And it was right away. I didn't have to like wait for it or ask again. So my hat off to all of the supervisor staff that were more than beyond helpful. Um, so thank you and best wishes to everyone. Me too. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I'm gonna stick back with the last comment, but uh, um, I have a great group of people that work in the office with me. So thank you all. And uh, I think Tuesday night when we all stood up in opposition of being silenced, spoke well for all of us in that even with the differences and foibles that we may have had over the last four years, when it comes to being transparent and making sure people have the information that they want, uh, there is no sunlight between us. And I would leave that as a place marker for the next board of trustees and the next group of elected officials that even if you have some disagreements, when it comes to serving the public, you should be shoulder to shoulder. And uh, so I will leave my comments at that. Thank you. Uh, at this time, I will make a motion to adjourn. Hold on, Mark. Thank you very much. <laughs> You guys are just trying to make me cry. Yeah. You should. It's good. Um, it's good to cry. At this time, I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. Can I have a second, please? Second. Thank you, uh, Trustee Vanderlein. Roll call, please. Trustee Donner. Aye. Trustee Kelly. Aye. Trustee Ferguson. Aye. Trustee Vanderlein. Supervisor Toman. Aye, the motion carries 5-0. Our next we are adjourned our next regular Downers Grove Township Board meeting with the newly elected board will be held on Thursday, May 20th at 7:30 p.m. Thank you and good night. Thank you.